Surely, you won't believe what happened tonight. I got introduced to someone, he was one of the special guests at the gala, and he asked for my number. Can you imagine? Wow. It seems meeting high-profile people at fancy parties is an everyday occurrence for librarians now. I think I'm in the wrong line of work. Oh, stop being sarcastic, Shirley. No I'm not. Well, I have Mr. Lucas Stiles to thank for that. He's like my personal networking fairy. Do you think he can set me up with someone wealthy, maybe? <laughs> So, tell me, how are you related to Mr. Lucas Stiles? Friends? Family? Oh, we're not related. He's a regular at the library where I work. We've become friends through our mutual love for literature and community events. A librarian? Huh. That must be quite the thrilling job. Well, I find it fulfilling. Connecting people with books. Knowledge is rewarding. I suppose it takes all kinds of jobs to keep the world turning. I, for one. Couldn't stand the monotony. Libraries are vibrant places with diverse activities and events. It's not like that at all. Indeed. By the way, you have a rather ravishing beauty. It's a good thing money can't buy looks. Otherwise, some people wouldn't stand the chance at all. Excuse me? I'm just saying, beauty is a rare and precious gift. Some are fortunate enough to possess it naturally. That's an inappropriate and offensive thing to say. I didn't mean to offend you. I apologize if it came out wrong. It did. And your comments about my job were unnecessary too. I think it's time for me to leave. So spill the beans, Tommy. How was the dinner with Williams? It wasn't great, surely. Let's not talk about it. What do you mean? Come on, details. I need the scoop. He was rude, made some offensive remarks about my job and said some things I wasn't comfortable with. Rude? I find that hard to believe. He's like the epitome of sophistication and charm. Well, he wasn't tonight. And I'd rather not discuss it further. Tell me, you can't let one bad experience ruin your impression of him. Maybe he was just having a bad day. Surely, I don't want to talk about it. Seriously, drop it. Okay, but if you're not interested in pursuing anything with him, can I? Knock yourself out, surely. I'm not interested. I just find it hard to believe anyone wouldn't love Williams Barber. Good morning. I'm Williams Barber. Oh, good morning. Can I help you? Is Tommy around? Oh, Williams. I've heard so much about you. Come on in. I'll fetch Tommy for you. Tommy, guess who's here? It's Williams Barber. What? Why is he here? I don't know, but he asked for you. Maybe he's here to apologize or something. You should talk to him. Surely, please. Just tell him I'm not feeling well or something. Are you sure about this? He seems genuinely apologetic. Go. I'm really sorry but Tommy cannot join you, Williams. She's just not feeling up to it today. Is she okay? I could stay and keep her company. No, no, it's just a minor thing. She needs some rest. Don't worry about it. Well, I hope she gets better soon. Absolutely. In the meantime, since you're here, how about we chat a bit? I'm not one to waste an opportunity for good conversation. I suppose a chat won't hurt. <laughs> you are more handsome in person than I thought. I mean, your photos are great but you look much better in real life. Mr. Stiles, I just wanted to thank you for inviting me to the charity gala. It was quite an experience. Oh, Tommy, it was just a charity event. No need for thanks. Besides, you're a promising young lady. And it's good for you to connect with people from outside your usual circles. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. It's not every day I get to attend such high-profile events. Well, if I had a son, I would have forced him to be with someone like you. Oh, Mr. Stiles. I think love should be the guiding force in relationships, not forceful arrangements. Huh. 
It wasn't exactly love at first sight for my wife and me. Really? What happened? Someone played matchmaker. We were forcefully matched, you could say. But you know what? I'm glad they did. We were married for 37 wonderful years before she passed away. I'm sorry to hear about your wife, Mr. Stiles. Thank you, Tommy. But the point is, sometimes, the status quo, or what we think is best for us, isn't what leads to our forever story. Don't let societal expectations rob you of the chance to create your own. Maybe Mr. Lucas is right. I hope I haven't thrown away a chance at something extraordinary. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I mean, how often does one get the opportunity to connect with someone like Williams Barber? He moves in circles I can only dream of. Williams? What are you doing here? Tell me, I wanted to talk to you. I owe you an apology for the other day. My attitude was out of line, and I'm truly sorry. Apology accepted. Really? Thank you. You know, I've been going through a rough patch, getting over a relationship that didn't end well. Sometimes, I let my emotions get the best of me. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you getting help with your heartbreak? It's a process, but yes, I am. That's good to hear. Hi. Tell me, you won't believe who's been hanging around for hours. I had no idea he'd be back. Not to mention sticking around outside to wait for me for that long. That's dedication. Don't you dare let a rare gem like him slip through your fingers. You're right. Williams, I've thought about your request. I'm willing to give us a chance. Wow! But hear me out, no more rude remarks, no more condescension. If you ruin this, there won't be a second chance. Tell me, you won't regret it. I promise to do my best. I'll never hurt you. Oh, my stars. Tell me dear, it's been too long. How are you? I'm doing well, Mrs. Drake. Williams, I'd like you to meet Mrs. Zoila Drake. She is a deaconess at my church. Pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Drake. Oh, a pleasure indeed. Tell me, you've brought such a fine young man with you. Don't let him get away. Oh, Mrs. Drake, we're just having lunch. Well, enjoy your lunch, young ones. I'll catch you later. Mrs. Drake seems quite fond of you. She is like the mother goose of the ladies in church. I'm going to get an earful the next time we meet. Well, I'll be sure to behave when the mother goose is around. Tell me, my dear, how wonderful to see you in church today. How was the sermon? It was insightful, Mrs. Drake. Pastor James always knows how to deliver a message. True, true. Now, dear, I've been meaning to ask you about that young man you were having lunch with the other day. Williams, was it? Yes, that's him. Williams Barber. We've been spending some time together. Well, tell me, he seems like a fine young man. But have you prayed about him? Prayed about him? Yes, child. You know, inquiring of the Lord, seeking his guidance in matters of the heart. Mrs. Zoila, I can vouch for Williams. He's upright, well-mannered, and we get along quite well. I'm glad to hear that, dear. But remember, the Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is destruction. Mrs. Zoila, has the Lord revealed something negative about Williams to you? No, dear. I'm just reminding you to seek his guidance in all things. It's what any believer in your shoes ought to do. Tell me, are you leaving already? Yeah, I have an early meeting today. Got to go. Hold on, aren't you going to eat breakfast before work? I'll grab something later. Are you fasting or something? Williams? What are you doing here? You never struck me as a book lover. Surprise! I thought I'd drop by and give you a little something. A little something? Yes. 
I passed by a boutique on my way to work this morning and saw something I thought you might like. Here you go. What's this? Open it and see. Williams, this is... Wow! I didn't expect this. Well, you deserve the best, Tommy. I feel bad now. I didn't get you anything. No need to apologize. I just wanted to surprise you. You don't have to give me anything in return. Thank you, Williams. I appreciate the thoughtful gesture. There is no way he's not from God. I mean, the way we met, the hurdles I threw his way, but he kept coming back. Men like him are not easy to come by. This has to be a divine connection. But I have to carry my three days prayers and fast through to the end, though. Otherwise, Mrs. Zoila won't leave me alone. <laughs> Heavenly Father, on this last day of my fast, I have come again to seek your guidance and direction in my relationship with Williams. You, O oh Lord, are the all-knowing Father who sees the end from the beginning. I place my trust in you. Please lead me, Father. Show me the path you want me to take. Illuminate the way, for your ways are higher than my ways, and your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. I surrender my heart, my desires, and my fears to you. Tommy, you look pale. Are you okay? Bad dream, surely. It was about Williams. What happened in the dream? We were in this beautiful garden, surrounded by vibrant flowers. But as we walked together, the flowers started withering and fading away. Is that all? I thought you received some bad news from home. I think it's a warning, surely. A warning to stay away from Williams. What? Tommy, it was just a dream. No, surely, it felt different. I woke up terrified, as if it was a message. You love Williams, right? More than anything. Then don't let a dream dictate your feelings. If you love him, give it a chance. Morning, Tommy. I was thinking I could drive you to work today. Oh, thank you, but it's really not necessary. My workplace is just around the corner, anyway. Ugh, I can walk with you then. A bit of morning stroll won't hurt, right? So, tell me, guess what? It's my birthday today. Seriously? Don't lie just to get me to be nice to you. No, really. It is. Your cranky behavior is exactly why I thought twice about sharing. Oh, well, happy birthday, I guess. Thanks! You know, on my birthdays I usually just count my blessings. But this time, I was thinking it'd be nice if you could go out with me. You know, visit one or two places. Really? Yeah, just a casual thing. What do you say? Well, I... Come on, tell me, it's not every day you get to celebrate a birthday with someone as charming as me. Fine, I'll go. Happy birthday, Williams. Thank you, Tommy. This means a lot to me. It's the latest iPhone. You should totally go for this one. You heard her. We'll take it. Nice choice, sir. Oh, no. It's hers. What? Williams, I can't accept this. It's too much. No, Tommy. I've noticed your phone hasn't been in great shape for a while now. I'm glad I finally have an excuse to replace it for you. But it's your birthday, yet you're the one giving me gifts. Your presence is the best present, Tommy. Williams, I appreciate the gift, but if it comes with expectations, you can take it back. Expectations? Tommy, I wasn't bribing you. However, we really need to talk about our relationship. I don't like that you keep turning me down. We're adults. Williams, it's about honoring God's plan for intimacy. 
Tell me, how was your outing with Williams? Complicated. What happened? I've been having mixed feelings about him, surely. I can't figure out if he's really the guy I thought he was. What do you think, Shirley? Do you think he's a good guy? Tell me, Williams is every girl's dream guy. If you're having doubts, step aside, and let another lucky lady have him. Lord, please change your mind about Williams. He's a good man. He just needs a little work. I know you have the power to change anyone. Please, change his heart so we can continue to be together. Tell me, is everything okay? You seem a bit forlorn. Oh, Mr. Lucas. I was just... thinking. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's on your mind? What do you think of Williams as a person? Honestly, tell me, I don't know him personally. Our connection is more business than personal. Then why did you match us together at the party if you weren't sure about him? Well... I saw the two of you without company that night and decided to intervene. Why do you ask? It's nothing. Just curious. Tell me, Williams' relationships are usually short-lived, with the exception of his last one. When I saw him alone at the party, I inquired about his girl, and he mentioned they had broken up. Her name, if I recall correctly, is Hattie Tibbetts. But that's about all I know. Thank you, Mr. Lucas. Hi. You work here, right? I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about Mr. Williams Barber. I heard he works here. I'm sorry, but I can't discuss Mr. Barber's private life with a stranger. I love my job. I respect that and I don't want to cause any trouble. However, bye. I need to know the truth. Nice shoes. Are you talking to me? Yes. I like your shoes. Oh, thank you. It's not every day I get compliments from pretty ladies. I am Miss Farmer, by the way. I'm Sam. You must be new here. As a matter of fact, I am. It's so difficult to find my way around or talk to people. I mean, I know I'm talking to you right now. But not so many people are as receptive as you are. Oh. Thanks again. You're welcome. Um, Sam, how well do you know the manager? Which of them? The company has a lot of departments and their respective managers. I believe his name is Williams Barber. Oh, I've heard a few things about him. He's the only son of the owner of the company and has little involvement with workers like us. Perhaps his wife and kids might be the reason why he's not so available. He's not married. In fact, I don't think he's ever going to settle down. His relationships tend to be short-lived, and there was some issue with his last girlfriend. Something about a restraining order is involved. What? That is serious. Yeah. Does she work here? Not anymore. What do you care about Mr. Williams anyway? I feel sorry for the lady. Yes. Me too. Tell me all about her, if you don't mind. Hi, I'm Miss Farmer. I'm a friend of Williams's. What do you want? Ah, uh, I just... I've been seeing Williams, and I heard there were some issues in your past relationship. I know you can hear me. I'm not here because Williams sent me. I just want answers. Look, Farmer whatever you call yourself. Go tell Williams I am going to terminate the pregnancy. Please, Hattie. Open the door and let's talk. Come in. Thank you. He was all nice and charming the whole time we were together. Well, until I got pregnant. Then he became a monster, accusing me of cheating and getting angry at everything I did. I had no idea. It escalated to physical abuse, and the last time landed me in the hospital. Now, I've decided to terminate the baby. Hattie. I understand it's difficult, but the baby shouldn't have to pay with its life for the wrongdoing of its parents. It's easy for you to say that. Williams, we need to talk. Visiting me at work. Feisty. I spoke to Hattie. How do you know Hattie? What did she tell you? The truth, 
Williams. She told me about the abuse, about how you treated her when she got pregnant. She's lying, Tommy. She's just trying to make me look bad. I've seen the medical reports, Williams. I've heard her side of the story. You can't deny the evidence. Fine, maybe I messed up in the past, but I've changed. You have to believe me. If you've changed, then go and take responsibility for your unborn child. You have no right to go behind my back and discuss me with people. There's a reason I haven't told you about Hattie yet. Are you afraid of being a dad? If you don't want babies, why then do you engage in the act in the first place? The poor lady is there suffering alone for something you two made together. You don't know Hattie like I do, yet you're already taking sides with her. The world is so unfair to men. There is no excuse for beating up a pregnant woman to the point of hospitalization. Hattie is a terrible liar. The baby she's carrying isn't mine. She's trying to use another man's child to leech my family's fortune. Oh my goodness. Did you beat her because you wanted her to have a miscarriage? No, how can you even think that? This discussion is over. Williams, come back here. Miss, you are here. I'll be visiting Hattie in the weekend. In case you'd like to come. I already did. And no, I don't work here. What? Good morning. Tommy's not here right now. She's taking some time for herself. I just want to talk to her, you know, clear things up. Well, she's not really in the mood for a chat. You might want to give her some space. I want to make her understand. Mrs. Zoila, I've been grappling with a situation, and I don't know what to do. Tell me, dear, tell me what's on your mind. I had a dream about Williams. I can't shake the feeling that it was a warning from God. What did you see? It was a beautiful garden with vibrant flowers, but as we walked together, the flowers started withering. God speaks to us in mysterious ways. Yeah. I feel like the situation going on between us is the start of the realization of the dream. What's the situation between you and Williams? William got his ex pregnant. I feel I might be judging him harshly because I sympathize with Hattie as a woman. He is insisting the baby is not his, and maybe he's right. Maybe that's why he's so angry. Tell me, I don't know Williams or Hattie personally, but your dream sounds like a warning that this relationship may not be God's will. What if the dream was about the current struggle we're facing? Maybe it's telling me that hard times will come, but I shouldn't give up. Not many people receive dreams, yet they make the right choices. By their fruits, the Bible says you shall know them. Does Williams show the fruit of a good relationship? I'm not sure. The Bible says, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. What does the Bible say about abstaining from sexual sins? It advises against it. No one is perfect, dear, but when you meet someone who intentionally goes against God's word, you should watch out. I think I need to take a break from my relationship with Williams. Tell me, we need to talk. I've tried reaching out, but you're not responding. Williams, I'm at work. This isn't the place for personal discussions. Well, I was at work when you started the whole drama. To be fair, I've tried every other way. You leave me no choice but to come here. Williams, you know the nature of my job. You can't just send me away like this. I thought what we had was special. Williams, I'm not interested in pursuing a relationship with you anymore. I want out. I was going to marry you, Tommy. I was going to give you the whole world. The goal isn't just to get married, Williams. It's to be happily married, and I don't see that happening with you. Money isn't everything. Sir, you need to leave. You're causing a disturbance here. Tommy, please eat something. You haven't eaten for days, and I'm really concerned about your health. I can't, surely. I just can't. This isn't the right time, Williams. Come back later. Surely, 
I want you to go in there and tell Tommy I want her to return all the gifts I've given her. What? Why would you ask for that? You know Tommy doesn't care about material things. I want my gifts back. What's going on here? Here's what's going on. I want you to return all the gifts I've given you. This doesn't make sense, Williams. Why are you doing this to Tommy? It's what I want. Tell her to return everything. Fine. I will give you back the phone and the wristwatch you bought for me. They're inside. I want a full refund, including all the dinners and lunches. You owe me $7,000. I have the records. Fine. But I don't have $7,000 to give to you. I'll have to refund you in installments every month. I can't believe he's doing this, Tommy. Demanding gifts back and asking for a refund on dinners and lunches. What kind of person does that? I don't know, Shirley. I thought he was different. All his philanthropic work, all the charity events he attended, was it all just for show? It certainly seems that way. No half-decent, mature guy would act like this. I thought he cared about you. It's like I never really knew him. Well, he's just revealing his true colors now. Shirley? What brings you here? I'm sorry, I know this is unprofessional, but it can't wait. What is it? Check this out. Those are screenshots of the nasty conversations Williams has been having online with young ladies. Where did you get these? I told my friends about what happened, and they immediately recognized him. Turns out, he's been doing this to several girls. Are you sure it's Williams? People impersonate others online a lot. Tommy, two girls in my class group admitted they have had sexual relations with him. Apparently, he loves gifting expensive items, then disappears after he gets what he wants. Why then is he making me pay him back? Must be a new low for him. Maybe he's trying to punish me for being the one to leave first. To him it's all a game and he lost. Either way, Tommy, be grateful. You just dodged a bullet. I should have known he was trouble when I flirted with him a few times and he gave me a green light despite the fact he was still pursuing you. I thought it was because I'm too gorgeous to be turned down. You flirted with him behind my back? You did gave me the go-ahead to pursue him. Remember. I didn't mean it. You knew that. I'm no, Tommy. I wasn't going to go far with it. I can't wait for him to be out of our lives for good once I'm done paying him back. I'm so glad I prayed about him and heeded to the voice of God. Yeah. Good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> no noise. Please. See you later, Tommy.